In an earlier session, we discussed the notion of derivative of a function and today we are going to talk about the inverse mathematical operation namely antiderivative or indefinite integral of a function. Inverse mathematical process of differentiation is called the antiderivative or integration. If derivative of a function fx is denoted as a prime of x, then its antiderivative or integration is defined as, as you see it here, here the c is a constant of integration. Antiderivative is also referred to as the indefinite integral. So, as you see it here, in general, antiderivative reduces an n plus 1 derivative of a function to nth derivative of the same function up to a constant of integration. For example, earlier we have seen that derivative of log of x is 1 over x. Given this derivative, one can define an antiderivative of 1 over x, namely integration over 1 over x dx as log x plus a constant of integration, as you see it here. Now, let us consider an explicit example where we evaluate an indefinite integral. For the given example, as you see it here, so let's write the integrand as f of x equal to 11x minus 43 over x square minus 6x plus 5. Using the so-called method of partial fraction, we can simplify the expression and by introducing two constants a and b as you see here. So, we can determine the constants b to be 8 and a to be 3 as you see it here. The, clearly, the indefinite integral of the given function one can now express as 3 times log of x minus 5 plus 8 times log of x minus 1 plus a constant of integration. So, let me emphasize this point. If derivative of a log of x is 1 over x, then this itself defines the antiderivative of the function 1 over x to be log x up to a constant. We now introduce the notion of integration by parts. From the definition of the antiderivative, we can express the derivative of product of two function as you see it here. Now using the Leibniz rule, the derivative of product of fx and gx can be explicitly evaluated as you see it here. And then by rearranging the term, we can rewrite the indefinite integral of fx g prime x dx to be fx gx minus f prime of x gx dx. Now, we can define another function say h of x which is equal to g prime of x. It also means that I can define an antiderivative as gx to be integral hx dx. Here, we are ignoring the constant of integration. Clearly, the integration of product of two function fx and hx then can be written as fx times integral of hx dx minus a prime of x times the integration over hx dx and the whole thing is integrated over x. So, as you see it here. We have seen earlier that derivative of product of two function can be expressed using Leibniz rule. Similarly, by using integration by parts, we can express 
the antiderivative of product of two functions as you see it here. So now let us take an example where we carry out integration by parts. So let us consider the given example where we calculate the antiderivative or integration of the function x sin x. x sin x is also referred to as the integrand. Now let's define f of x to be x and h of x to be sin x. Then using the expression of integration by parts, we can express x sin x dx as x time sin x dx minus integration over 1 times sin x prime dx prime and whole integrated over dx. Now using the antiderivative of sin x and cosine x, we can express the indefinite integral i as minus x cos x plus sin x plus c. I hope you have enjoyed today's session. In case you have any question, comment or suggestion, please feel free to write them below in the comment section. And if you like to follow the physics discussion here, then you are welcome to subscribe to this channel.